Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Rope Presence, which is basically a program that shows what you're playing on Roblox on your Discord status. So without further ado, here we go. So just a quick note before we begin, all of the links are in the description in order. So I have the dev form post. This thing's actually made by a person named Jiva. He's pretty cool. So you can check this post out right here. And then I have all the other stuff up here. So just open up all those links and then you'll be ready to go. So let's go ahead and start with the Rover. So Rover is a Discord bot and it has a database of the people that are verified on it. And Presence actually looks at the database to find you so and like do all that's magic so you're gonna need to be verified on it so hit the get verified button and sign in with discord and then you'll authorize it and after authenticating if you're verified it'll say right here your username and you're already verified but if you're not type in your roblox username and then hit one of these buttons and then you will be walked through the process so next up, we're gonna need Node.js. And Node.js is a JavaScript runtime that basically lets JavaScript run outside of the browser. So like on your computer or on a server. We're gonna want the recommended for most users. Right now it is 10.16.3 LTS, but it could be different when you're watching. Also there are other downloads over here and it has like Mac and whatever if you need that, but we're on Windows and we don't need that. So just click on this button and then it will download. So right here, you're just gonna wanna open up the installer and then we can continue. So mine will look a tiny bit different than yours might because I've already installed it. The only differences are you gotta agree to the license agreement and you'll, you'll check the box and then you have to choose where to install it. The default place is fine, so just hit next and then you will see what I see here. So make sure all these are the same symbol. This means that they will be installed so just make sure they're all like this. And then that's really the only crazy thing about this. All we have is, it isn't even crazy. It's just, it's just how it works. I cannot speak today, as you can tell, but we're gonna continue. And we are ready to install Node.js and you'll see a user account control thing. Just hit yes on it. Might take a second to pop up or it might be in your uh, taskbar thing down here. So just hit that and then you'll see that pop up and the green bar will go through a few times and then you'll see this. So you will click the finish button to exit the setup wizard because you're all done. And then that's all we need to do with this Node.js stuff. So we're all done there. Next, we have the GitHub repository for Row Presence. So this is where we're going to be downloading it. So just find the green clone or download button. It should be right here above the last commit. We'll have like a date and stuff right under the MIT. So click on it. Hit the download zip button. Sometimes it doesn't work. You might need to hit it twice. You don't hit it in the right spot. And then you will have it downloaded. So just open it up and then you can extract it to your downloads or your desktop or whatever. I'm just gonna extract it to my downloads for now. And then you will have it. So open it up and then you will see all the stuff down here. But all we need are these four things that I've highlighted in blue. So we need the stop presence, the background presence, the windows install, and the windows presence. You need to keep all this, but you just don't need to worry about it. So don't delete anything. So we're gonna start with the windows install.bat and that basically installs everything. So just double click on that. A command prompt window will open. You'll see some spinning stuff, colorful things, loading bar. It's fine, it's just installing things. And NPM is the Node.js package manager, it comes with it. So it's just downloading all the packages that it needs, and programs, so once that closes, you'll be all done with that. So. You can either launch it in the background of Visual Basic script, or you can just open it up in a command prompt window. I prefer to open it up in a command prompt window, so that's what I'm gonna do, but it's your choice. But before we actually open it, we need to do one last thing on here, and we need to check if we are following the row presence bot. So make sure that you're following it if you want the game to actually pop up. And then once you're following that, you can just kind of close your browser and whatnot if you want. I'm not, so just open up your row presence and then you will see all this again. Double click which one you want to run and then it might say that Windows has protected your PC. Let's be totally honest, it really hasn't. This is perfectly fine, so hit the more info button, hit run anyway, and then you can maximize this and then you're all good. So this will cycle through a few things. 
might take a second for it to pop up. So let it download all of its last things and then it will be basically, that's it. So don't close this window if you did this one, if you wanna keep the presence on. If you did the background one, you're gonna be fine. So make sure also that you have your uh, Discord status on. So you can go find that by hitting the settings button, game activity, and switching the setting that says like show your game activity to purple. Make sure it's to the right on, all that stuff. It should be, if you haven't turned it on, it'll be gray. And then that's it. You can hit the escape button. And then when you're not on Roblox, it will show your username. When you're on it, it'll say you're online. And when you're in a game, it will say what game you're in and all that fun stuff, like how long you've been playing it. So that is all for this video. So if you have any issues, you can go onto the repository and file an issue, or you can also just message the person on the dev form, Roblox, whatnot, and that's it. You can also message me, but who would do that? Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Wait, one last second, I'm not done talking yet. You thought I was done talking, but I'm not. These are, I put these just here because these are things that you might not actually need to do, and well, you just probably don't. So you might need to make sure, if you see that it's a secret game, just check who can join me. Make sure that it's set to friends, users I follow, and followers, or friends and users I follow. And then that's just so the bot can see what you're doing. So make sure that you've done that, and you should be all good on that. And if you want to turn off the status the nice way, you can go into your folder, double click stop presence, open it, and then that will kill it. You can see it's stopping. You just close it and we have a nice graphic. So those are just some extra notes I wanted to put in before you click away. Now it's safe to click away. I'll see you later.